I'm back with a new episode of Cinemania and some new elsewhere. One man, 23 personalities, what if you find yourself facing this man's raft? This is what happens to three teenage girls in a thrilling psychological film, Split. Hey, pardon me sir, I think you have the wrong car. After a birthday party, Casey, who is played by Anya Taylor-Joy, is left without a ride home. And as a result, her classmate's father insists on sending her home along with the girl's best friend. Unbeknownst to the three girls, an unfamiliar man slips into the car instead of the father. And before they even have time to escape, a waft of aerosol chloroform knocks them out instantly. The three girls awake in a claustrophobic, windowless room, clueless and frightened about their situation. It is only until their captor reappears terrorizing them further. However, things get more bizarre when they see that the captor, who James McAvoy plays, possesses 23 different personalities as a result of dissociative identity disorder. The human brain is the most complex object in the universe. The only way we're getting out of here is if one of them decides to let us out. Among these personalities are Barry, an aspiring fashion designer who's kind of feminine, Patricia, a mysterious woman with strange beliefs, and even a mischievous nine-year-old kid called Hedwig. Ha ha. However, the most domineering personality that seems to take charge more often than not is Dennis, an obsessive compulsive character who is responsible for kidnapping the girls. While most of the film revolves around the girls' attempts to escape, as well as the constant mention of a strange 24th personality that might surface, there are also backstories revealed driving the film. A kind-hearted psychiatrist known as Dr. Fletcher, played by Betty Buckley, helps to provide advice and therapy to the captor. But as these sessions get more frequent and uncalled for, she starts to sense that something isn't right about him and is compelled to get him to expel his true motives. An individual with multiple personalities can change their body chemistry with their thoughts. At the same time, the film bounces back from the present day scenario to flashbacks of Casey's past, where she has had a similar share of experience with a seemingly psychotic uncle who she is forced to stay with after her father's death. As such, this allows her to be more versed and intelligible to deal with the different personalities while being held captive. The beast is real. Awful things to people, and he'll do awful things to you. While this film might seem mildly disturbing, M. Night Shyamalan manages to portray the movie in a way that somehow fevers you to the edge of your seats as thrilling moments fill up the movie simultaneously. And we give Split 3.5 out of 5 popcorns. I am your host, Travis, and you're watching CTV, your coolest choice. And I've got new outerwear. That's right, my pants have no holes, but I still want to go home.